Hello, hello, and we are back. And this part is going to be sketching, and then we're moving on to uh, line work or line art. We're going to make some blocking of the tones, and then we're going to render it. But only this part is going to be sketching. The last part, I um, kind of set the speed up, so um, it will be going a lot faster now, simply because these last parts takes a lot of time. I mean, it takes an hour to render, but it doesn't take an hour to explain what I'm doing. So these last parts is going to be a bit quicker. But uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So, I have now two firms in the corner. And one is, of course, of the, um, the thumbnail that we did for the character portions, and then the thumbnail for the pose. What I'm going to try and do now is to make a sketch of the character in the pose. And I'm going to use um, the side view that I did as well of the head. And then I'm going to do my best to uh, make a final drawing of that. I'm not going to spend too much time rendering and I'm not going to spend too much time on line art. This is going to be very rough. In my opinion, the point of doing this is just to sell the product, because you almost already have the product right now. You don't have to spend a lot of time doing this product even more. I mean, it's almost done, so you just need to show it in a nice way to people. And that's what we're doing here. We need to sell the product to people now. And also a bit to ourselves. We need to make an awesome drawing and think to ourselves, yeah, I want to do this in 3D. <coughs> um, so basically what I did, I did a quick uh, lower sketch and then I just, just uh, draw it up a bit with a, a, a little bit thicker so it gets more black uh, just to simply see it and uh, I'm using curve versus straights you can see on the arm that uh, that is out there right now I think it's his left arm on the top I have one or two straights and underneath I have a curve. So again this is to create contrast. Um, yeah, I'm just drawing the boots in now. I'm trying to get the pose right and see how his feet should be standing at this point of time. Uh, I think in a moment I'm also going to add in his wooden leg. But again I try to keep the the same uh, the things that I did before, the thumbnail and the pose. I mean, already I can see that this is the point where you can go wrong. I mean, this is the point where you should really think about is the form the right form, is the thumbnail still the right thumbnail, and stuff like that. And I can see that I just um, erased the face, and I'm going to uh, draw in a new face, or head, actually. So the problem with this is that I can already see now that it's not true to the uh, to the thumbnail I did around the person. He, this guy looks a bit taller because his head is a bit more wide up. It's not as compressed as the other head. Um, but when you're drawing, you don't think about this. You just keep drawing and keep doing what you want to do. So I'm trying to raise and trying to get the right beard in that I did for the fun and the side view. You can see that I added it down in the button just so I can be sure and check a couple of times about how to do it. I'm trying to add in the facial features that um, I decided earlier on. And I know probably a lot of people have been waiting for this moment because this is the moment when we ni make the nice, uh, the nice drawing. This is what you can show to your grandma or to your kids when you get old. And this is, uh, well, in my opinion, it's not the most important thing. But it is still important. Uh, I want his face to be, uh, he should be smiling, but it should be unsecure. He should be afraid still, but smiling to um, prevent something bad to happen. That's the general idea. Um, and that might get a bit hard to get through, but I'm going to try my best and we're going to see how it's going to unfold. I'm also adding his shoulder patches 
And the uh, cool thing about pilots is that they actually, the clothes they have on, uh, it was all stolen. So they stole from everywhere and they just stole the clothes that they really liked. And that's also why the captain also had the most awesome clothes because he could pick what he wanted and he had been doing it for so long. So he knew what was looking good on him already. <laughs> Well, if I look at the drawing now, I can see that I think the head is way too big. I think I'm trying to compensate with uh, making the head even bigger. And um, well, at this point, this point in the in the face, it's also a nice time to get the feedback. You can ask somebody what do they think about it, and how can you improve it? Is there something they don't like? Is there something they do like about it? And they probably have some, you should ask somebody you trust and somebody you know will give good feedback. Because if you ask your mom, she will probably just say, wow, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen or something like that. I don't know. But the point is the parents is really um, <laughs> not a good source of feedback because they just say look good. <coughs> but I do like the way that the arm is right now. And I think that if he's a short guy, he should probably be uh, looking upwards in that instead, of, uh, instead of downwards. So he will be looking up at some tall guys who are coming to kick the shit out of him. And you can see it's really clear with the, with the straight on curves thing now. I'm just trying to add in some folds in the clothes. It can be very difficult to add the folds. Uh, you need to look at reference in order to get that right. Probably. If you got one, you can easily pull it off, I think. You just need to know how cloth reacts in, in these um, circum circumstances. So, yeah, I have, of course, saved the best thing <laughs> for, uh, for the end. I mean, doing fingers is not what I like, but... I think it went okay here, at least on one of them. I'm trying to reposition, and generally I like uh, the way that his head is so big compared to his head. There's not a lot of evenness in it. Um, because his head is more small compared to his head. So in general you can divide his uh, character into three. We have the head, with the, which is kind of small. And we had the medium thing, the hat, and the body is the big, big thing. So I had the idea that he was reaching out for a gun, but a gun might be, it might be hard to see that it's a gun if it's laying on the floor. And a sword has a nicer um, silhouette. So I'm going to use a sword instead, and I think that's a pretty good decision. It will tell the story more clearly. Um, but the one mistake I made here was that his uh, legs, his wooden leg and his real leg was on the same um, plane. They were exactly on the same size on the paper. And that's not too good because it flattens out the image. So I want one leg to be in front of the other leg. So now I'm kind of trying to, uh, to fix that and to find out what can I do with this wooden leg. And <laughs> this looks very funny. <laughs> Why did I do that? It looks wow, that looks so warm. Okay, but <laughs> I mean, sometimes you make stuff that doesn't look good, so you have to redo it. Well, a lot of time, drawing is redrawing. Let's put it that way. Um. Yeah, and uh, I just want to add a belt buckle in. I think that's a pipe thing as well. So, why not have a belt buckle? I mean, that could be pretty cool. Every pipe has a belt buckle and probably a sword in the belt or a gun. So I was just trying to add that in. And now I'm trying to add in the folds in the clothes. Um, I wanted kind of a miniature look. So folds in the clothes is really important because that will happen in those miniature films. And one thing that I could do uh, when I'm making the textures for the 3D model is to make the 3D uh, the textures really rough. And I think at this point, I feel like I did something decent. 
Um, but in the moment, I just paused the video and I asked one of my friends what he thought, and he had some really nice feedback. Um, I'm going to indicate that with just drawing in a red uh, correction, and then I'm going to try to fit the design for it. You should also try to take a step away from it and try to um, look at it from a different angle. I mean, it's very important to look at your drawings and say, ah, this doesn't work, be self-critic. It's a really important tool, so you might as well get used to it. Um, the guy who I asked had uh, some really nice feedback. He said he thought it didn't look that much like the thumbnail, that I had lost some of the character in it. And I totally agree. I mean, it's a fine line between having the thumbnail in your character, but you can also just keep it a bit lower because sometimes you don't want it to have the total same shape. I mean, in my case, I, I wanted the interesting look and the interesting shape, but I didn't want it to be that shape language driven, which meaning that I didn't want I didn't want it to be totally like the thumbnail. And I'm not sure how to s explain it in a different way, but I think you I think you understand. So I also want to make the belt buckle bigger because this indicates as well that he's a small person. He maybe not be able to find a belt buckle in his size, so he had to choose something which were a lot bigger. Uh, and it also helps the concept being that it's a miniature set, because when you're doing these miniature models for stop motion, you can't really do things which are very small. That's also why the textures on them look so big, because you can't do things which are too small. Um, yeah, so I figured that the face should be more squished together uh, because he is the short person and I also rescaled the head just to um, get it to fit more in with the silhouette I made earlier. And I think already it works much better with the smaller head. I think if I want to do something different, I could probably make the head a lot bigger because right now it looks like the head and the beard head has the same shape, just opposite. So it looks like kind of a mirror. The beard looks a mirror, like a mirror of the of the head, and that's not a good thing. But I mean, the good thing is that the proportions are not uh, even as it would be in real life. I mean, if you draw a man in real life all the proportion, the legs would be half of his height or something like that. And that's not a good thing because it makes the whole design very even and boring. If you want to make something interesting, it should be different from real life. It should be cool and looking distinguished from uh, what you are seeing in real life. Not that you should make an alien that you can't see what it is, but like I'm doing here, I'm making short legs and a big uh, torso. That makes it look funny. You could also make a guy with really long arms. I mean, that's always funny. But I mean, I think the pose is getting a lot better and the silhouette of him is getting a lot better as well. He's way wider at the bottom and I think that really helped a lot. So I'm constantly zooming in and out. I'm trying to zoom in to get the right uh, line art down but I'm also zooming out to see how it looks as a whole. It can be very difficult to, to get a nice view at it if you're zoomed in and looking at the small details all the time. So I try actually to stay zoomed out all the time. But it's of course uh, very hard when you're doing these sketches. So at some point you need to zoom in and out, but generally a good rule is to stay as far out as, far out as you can and don't get lost in the detail. <coughs> so I'm trying to um, to get the pose a bit better, mostly because I felt the weight was in the wrong place. So now I'm just trying to to put the weights in the right place again.
and this is it's not like you can say this is the final piece i don't have to work on the portions more or i don't have to look at the, the pose more it's it's done well you will always have to work on this you can just keep making smaller changes it doesn't have to be a big one in some cases you will have to do the pose again or something like that just because it didn't work and that really sucks but that's how it is i mean if it doesn't work it it's probably what you should do so I'm not sure if this pose works, but I think it works. If it didn't work, I will probably have to redo it. Oh, I just love that you in Photoshop can replace things and scale them and stuff like that. If you could do that on a real paper, life would be so much better. So I'm just trying to get into the smaller things now, I'm doing the hand, because it's also important to know where the fingers are placed. <laughs> and the good rule is to make five fingers instead of four. I probably know that you didn't know that. I'm just looking how the changes is. It's always a good thing just to check if you like the new stuff better or you like the old one, because then you can always go back. But I really like the new one better. It's also funny to see your process and see if it actually gets better. I mean, and when it does, it feels great. It feels really awesome to see the first stages of your designing and to see the last one that's really good. I also, oh I, should <laughs> I should have said this earlier, but I recommend that you save versions of your file so you can always go back and see how it looks you will do that next time hopefully I definitely recommend it it's kind of funny because I actually made a pirate before I started drawing some, uh, seriously and I made it for my little sister and I was thinking that I maybe should add it in this video just so people could see that I actually got better. I think I made it four years ago or five years ago. Well, I think uh, we are about to end this video. Um, and in the next video, we are going to look at the line art. And uh, well, the line art is just to make it pretty. So we are going to make it clean because this sketch looks rather messy. and. Uh, after that, we're going to make some textures in in it, but only with the line. And you can do a lot of things with the line. It depends on how you're using the line to enhance the stuff you want to tell. So that's going to be exciting. Um, yes. So that's it. And uh, in this tutorial, we of course learned about sketching. So I hope you're ready for the next one. And I hope you are having fun. So, see you in a moment.